good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel this is shy dreams we're gonna make a quick video on how to command line uh, the XMU so you can use individual ISO so you don't have to load the emulator um, up and select the ISO we received a question from a mr. Brandon Rogers which his question was can you make a custom shortcut link on your desktop so you don't have to load each disk every time um, at the time I didn't have the answer so I told him once I got home that I would take care of it and now here's that video oh one other note I want to say thank you to all the subscribers we hit another milestone on yesterday um, we went to 600 which I'm very appreciative of everyone that has hit that subscribe button and more good content to come if you have any questions feel free to leave it under the video um, or any video for that matter or you can send me a direct you know email which I check those periodically um, it's in the about section of the channel so let's go ahead and get to it so the first thing you need to do is um, go to the website and then I say go to the documentation because you're gonna need some command line arguments um, to help you get this to achieve this um, bat file is basically what we're going to create um, so you can click it and then load the individual files um, so once you have this up um, you need to go to where you have your Xbox emulator the XMU um, stored here um, what you want to do is you want to create a new text document for most I mean it's just right and then you go to new and click new text document and what you want to do is you want to open it um, seeing that this is where the Xbox is the emulator what you want to do is get the path so first you want to see mine is in G um, colon Xbox and then I will put that first hit paste then I put a slash and then I will um, type out the executable I'm sorry about the X -E -M -U dot exe <coughs> that's to get everything started if you do not have where it's stored at it's not gonna work so next you want to do is uh, we want to tell that where the ISO image is so you would go here and it says loads this image and then it says ISO and you know that the ISOs have to be um, X ISO as well too or they won't load like a standard ISO will not load so the next thing you want to do is paste that argument here and you see it says DVD path so you hit a space and then now you have to tell it exactly where the ISOs are so in this case we're going to use um, let's see mines are stored in system and then ISOs and then here's my my ISO images so I want to copy that out as well to place it in the path right here then you're gonna hit the slash button and then I guess we'll try BMX uh, I'm gonna hit copy copy the name and then another thing too is there can't be any spaces in the name when you're using a command line because you know DOS only has 14 characters that it can read so you can't have BMX space XXX space it's not gonna work so what I've done is I just put um, underscores to pull out the spaces so next <laughs> Um, you want to go back to your text file All right, let's see and then you want to paste the name and it has to be dot ISO and then the last thing if you want it full screen I say add full screen but I like playing Xbox games at full screen myself so then the last argument would be that so here's the executable this is where the game is stored and then it's full screen so now you want to go to save as because now we have to make a bat file you want to come down where it says save as type you want to change that to all files in this case since it's BMX I'll just call it BMX well, I see you already have one in there so we'll say uh, BMX I don't know. I mean, we'll put today's date so we'll have it. So let's say 8 2. So 8 dash 2. Dot bat for the batch file. So then we'll take it 
and hit enter and that's it so now you can go back to that same batch file which is stored right where your executable is uh, where is that it's right here so here's the file we just created as you can see it's 8.2 and it's 341 well it's 342 now so now you can either make a shortcut here and take it to the desktop or you can take the actual batch file and put it on the desktop I mean that's a total you thing so alright so we'll put it here and then move down here so now we can close this as well too and then we just click it I mean you can cut the bio screen off as well too I think it's a nostalgia thing for me but as you can see single load it um, it does work and I hope that uh, Mr. Rogers that that does help you out and I like I said I do appreciate the fact that you did go up under there and ask the question and it was something that I could help you out with so I guess I'll play a little gameplay oh yeah always remember please like comment and subscribe I mean I really truly appreciate it the more likes we get then my content gets out and then we can bring more people to the fold so I'm going to go ahead and play a little gameplay for you, and then that's kind of like it. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Let's get us some uh, hardcore music here. Let's go to new music. Let's see it be in. There you go. Hot salty nut sack. I got a hot salty nut sack here. <laughs> Alright y'all take it easy. Peace.